Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another session of VR missions with Gundam Side Stories. I am still not necessarily better per se, not over whatever it is that ails me, and it's been a good couple of weeks now and I've, I've been to the doctor to see him, see what he thinks about it, and I'm on another type of medication. But it seems like no matter what I'm taking, it does little more than alleviate my problems. But anyway, let's get on with it when we last left off. I, I kind of jumped the gun here, but we are now on Vienna mission number 31. So let's get on with it. I'm also aware that in the time since my last recording session, a new Gundam game, Gundam Breaker 2, has come out. And uh, I've been watching a lot of other people uh, play through the game. Well, not a lot of other people, but I've been watching gameplay footage and whatnot. It looks fun, I guess. But, uh... <sighs> I, I, I don't know. I'm still ever so slightly on the fence about it, personally. It, it looks fun. It just doesn't look... Yeah, I don't know what to say. It's, it's another beat-em-up game in the same sense like the Gundam Dynasty Warriors games here in America were. But this one allows you to use customizable Gunplug instead of any one set unit. And, yes, that does sound like a good idea to me, but it would sound like a better idea to me if it were A, not Japanese, and B, not Japanese. Because even this game, Gundam Side Stories, is plagued with a problem that I take issue with when it comes to Japanese Gundam game series, especially with the coming of the PlayStation 3 era. It's the sheer amount of... Get the grinding. Grinding. I don't know how else to put that other than grinding. Japan... I know they probably got a lot of time on their hands or whatnot, and their, game play, their gamers over there really enjoy this. Or something. But grinding, oh my fucking god. The amount of things that you can obtain in that game, and the amount of time that you're probably going to have to put into unlocking all of it. Not to mention, this just this sheer amount of level of difficulty ramping up based on what I've seen from the previous game over the course of the game, kind of forcing you to do things a certain way. Damn drag. Get down! Crap! Tough drag. Magella tanks? For, I said former Magella tanks. But yeah, grinding is just one of those things in a game that is just... Oh, I so hate it. it, it it's the reason why, as good as Gundam 0081 is as a game and how solid it's stuff and the amount of things you can do with that game, I can't for the life of me begin to... Uh, uh, it frustrates me so fucking much. I can't... It. Because you have to grind for absolutely everything. You'll never have enough money to buy any mobile suits or any of your equipment. Or if it's not that, grinding for much better parts by replaying stages over and 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 over again. It takes the light. 
It drains the fun out of everything! But that in and of itself is bad. Very, very bad pro uh, programming stance on my point. But there's also when games, especially Japanese games these days, Japanese PlayStation games, PlayStation 3 games and whatnot, where they either put a paywall or, in the case of Double 081, get him Double 081, get him Sinky. There was a harder difficulty. And a lot of the better parts you could only get on the higher difficulty settings, but you could only play the higher difficulty settings in online mode. And on online mode, there's... Well, I, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I don't know... I, I don't have many slash any friends I know who I have... No, I should probably just stop right there. I don't have any friends. <laughs> I just don't. I, I keep to myself so much. It's, yeah. This is a space mission. I should honestly just be taking a better suit than damn command types, but I want to hold off for some of the better stuff. I've already tested some of the missions beforehand before trying to record this. Uh, but anyway, a 0081. I, I, I call it 0081. It's, a lot of people call it Gundam Sankey. I'm just going to call it 0081 so that there's no confusion whatsoever. <sighs> but anyway. You. I don't have any friends to help me play on the higher difficulties and these higher difficulties, especially the mission. And whenever I just go, I try to get some random players. They are always usually Japanese. They don't understand what I'm after or what I'm trying to do, and I, it's not really in my place to try and commu with, communicate with them. And there's also trying to remember what parts I'm after, where they are on each in individual levels, what they translate to. There's too much for the life of me to remember out of that game. To really... On top of the grinding... The sheer amount of everything that you have to go through... I mean, I've basically completed... All the story missions, all the possible missions on... The, uh... Free mode, aside from downloadable content stuff, and that's another problem I have with trying to get Japanese import games, especially on the PS3, is when they have DLC to go after, and I'll, I'm sorry, it's just no, not going through that nonsense. But part from it, it's just one of those things where grinding for parts, grinding for all sorts of things in a game at all, it drains, it drains, and I think, I hate to say this, but for a game of the quality that, a game of Gundam 0081's ilk, having to go through any kind of grinding, let alone the sheer, massive, horrendously large amount of grinding that you'll have to go through in that game for absolutely any kind of enjoyment. I... Oh, no. Absolutely not. If it wasn't so... There are a lot of things that could alleviate my problems with that game. A, if it wasn't so freaking Japanese in every sense of the way, where... I... no. 
I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry, folks. It's just... It can be a good game in a certain right, but if it takes that much... If it really saps away that much of my time to repeat the same kind of processes that a lot of these Japanese games, even J Japanese Gundam games, seem to be accustomed to doing ever since coming onto the PlayStation. I can't stand it. I just can't. I, I don't. I refuse to stand for it. Grinding detracts from my enjoyment of any game, whether it's American or Japanese, but if it's Japanese, it really hampers it because I don't under there's a lot that I just don't understand about the game. About the language. And just no. No. So the likelihood of me getting Gundam Breaker 2 and let alone doing a playthrough it online on YouTube, in any sense of the word, especially when so many other people, well, maybe not so many, but enough other people out there are probably doing a dedicated playthrough of it on their own already, of which there are probably two or three I can name. Uh, I don't see the point. I see the potential of the game, I see the potential fun I could be having with the game. I just don't... Ow. Fuck you. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced I'll be totally satisfied with it. I, I don't know what else to say other than there are just too many things in the way of potential full enjoyment of the game. It's it's bound to be fun, the amount of customization you could do with such things and that. Again, that all it does is remind me of exactly how arduously, incredibly, ungodly long and how much goes into a playthrough of, like, Gundam Sankey, Gundam 0081. No! I seriously doubt I'm gonna be asked to pick up and bother with that game at all. So, everyone's just gonna have to settle with me playing this, what is considered by contrast, much less enjoyable game, which I don't understand. It's, it's, it's not great for me, it's enough. It's nowhere near as confusing as a lot of these other games that I've been mentioning have been. Uh, I'm not as caught up when I'm playing it. I, I don't find myself stuck on any way. And yes, I am still grinding for points. That is one thing I think hampers my enjoyment of this game, isn't it? Aside from just how limited a lot of the things that there are about the game, your suit selection, your lack of customization, I can get over a lot of it. But I'm still grinding for points no matter what I do, and I'm, the more I do it, the less I get out of it. And you... And a game like Gundam Breaker 2? I would probably be so ungodly bored by the time we got to the end of it. I, I just... 
I put it down and not think about it anymore. But anyway, that's... <laughs> that's me bullshitting my way through another VR episode of uh, Gundam Side Stories VR <laughs> missions, whining about grinding in video games, and I will see you next time. <laughs>